Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is another beer that I was just going to do a text review on, but at the time I might as well do a whole episode on it. And it's really cloudy out, it looks like it might rain, so I actually took the umbrella off to get as much light as possible. Anyways, on to the beer. Long Trail Pollinator. It's their spring seasonal. Um, this bottle is from April 16th, so it's like three months old, not too bad. Very tiny writing on the label here, I can barely read it. Anyways, it's just a generic spring golden ale. I guess you could call it a pale ale. I mean, you know, it's quite pale, nice kind of gold color, clear body, carbonation. You know, not much of a head on there anymore. There was a pretty decent one at first, using the long trail shaker, tumbler glass, whatever you want to call it. it smells like a pretty generic beer. Like whenever you're around just like empties and stuff that's kind of what it smells like no i mean there is a little bit of like a kind of grassy hoppiness in here uh, almost like a little bit of like a honey aroma i really didn't research this one all that much so going to this fairly blind i think it's 4.6 abv so let's give it a taste It's held up pretty good over the last three months. Um, nice kind of bitterness in there. I think you get the, the kind of generic beer... <laughs> I get a very generic beer aftertaste on this one. Um, I mean, obviously it's a craft beer and it's an, it's an ale, but it has like this kind of, you know, aftertaste is almost the same as like from any kind of macro lager. I actually got lacing on the glass, I'm surprised. It's not what I would consider super hobby beer by any means. Pretty standard palette. I think this is, this is like a really generic golden ale or blonde ale. One of my least favorite styles. Um, it's funny there's a bee. <laughs> there's a bee flying around for the pollinator uh, review. That's funny. Um, it's refreshing. I have to give it that. Um, 4.6 percent. You know. And the, you can argue that it's sessionable. Um, you know, it's it's refreshing while it's in the mouth. It is a slight kind of dry, chalky aftertaste, but otherwise, you know, it's pretty clean. Pretty short, you know, lighter body on it. You know, it's 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 all right. It's it's just a really generic kind of golden ale or very mild pale ale. Um, you know, it's something I could drink, but I. I don't think anybody would like really be blown away by this. This is this is being a great like transition beer from your macro drinkers. Like this is the kind of beer you'd give to your dad or your grandpa or whoever if you're trying to get them into craft beer because this has a very similar, not not a super similar flavor to macro lager, but enough to kind of be like, hey, there's more to beer than that. Um, I was not to say this beer is amazing or anything. Uh, I'll, I'll reluctantly give. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 to the Pollinator. It's probably more of a solid, enthusiastic 6 when it's fresh, but as of right now, it's like just barely a 6. Um, I don't really think there's anything wrong. I, I, mean, I can't really find any like flat-out flat out flaws to, you know, to knock it down to a 5 or something lower than that, but it's, um, you know, it's for what it is, it's it's decent. And, you know, the lace in my glass is kind of salvaging it, so... Thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.